Welcome to the movie, Hoser. Yo, dog, you want to give me a second here? No. <laughs> Just what are we talking about? We're talking about Rick and Morty? Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Rick and Dad. Morty. <laughs> so you told me about this cartoon called Rick and Morty. Yeah. I, An Adult Swim. I love it. And you really like it. I flip and love this show. And you showed me an episode, and I immediately thought about um, uh, uh, Back to the Future. Yes. Like Marty McFly and Doc Brown. Mm-hmm. Because it's... And so I'm assuming that the guys that created this probably are Back to the Future fans. Yeah, this was created by uh, Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. And Justin Roiland uh, voices Rick and Morty. And my favorite character, Lemon uh, Grab. Lemon, Lemon Grab from uh, yeah. uh, Adventure Time. I love Lemon Grab. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a pretty... Uh, I, don't, you know? I don't know how you... That's, that's all i got to say about I don't it. know how you describe it other than like kind of like a, a toned-down Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, that's a good... That's that's pretty good. It's like you got the watered-down acid instead of like the hardcore stuff. I'm assuming that the, the guys, like I said, I'm assuming they were watching Back to the Future and they said, Hey, man. What if Doc Brown was like a was like a crack addict, uh, alcoholic, alcoholic, and uh, just com- jerk. just just even more messed up than he was, and he just kept coming up with inventions that caused Marty McFly's life to be a living hell, and Marty McFly wasn't like a cool Marty McFly, he was like a real lame. just a lame, stupid, moronic guy, and you know, <laughs> kid or whatever, and that's the show. Yeah, it's like every it's it's insane, and it just keeps getting more insane. This show. And I love it, and it's yeah. really funny. This sh- this show, man. I mean, it. Oh, it just appeals to me so much. So we got through. We got through season one. We're into season starting got, season got two. Got through like it was a chore. Yeah, right? it was a real chore. And um, so this guy Rick Sanchez is this. I guess genius. He's a scientist yeah. genius or something. And it sounds like they got him out of an old age home or something, out of a mental <laughs> asylum, because he's now living with his daughter and her husband. Her husband. I can't remember the name of the guy that plays him, but he's also an archer. Chris Parnell. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's he um, do, he just con- he's he must be a sad sack of a human being, because all Parnell. of the characters he plays are, are just, sad sacks. Are just sad. Yeah. Worthless, yeah. weak, wimpy male figures. And I com- and I and I relate to it. Cecil, he was C- he's Cecil and Ars- Archer, right? Cecil and Ar- Ars- Arsis. Arsis. <laughs> They were ISIS. They were, they were ISIS before they ISIS They were ISIS. Cool. Yep. Yep. They were ISIS. They were the bad guys. So, and then the wife is played by somebody. Um, some I have no idea. Some chick. And, and so does the sister. Is played he's by got some a chick. sister played by some chick. Yeah. Morty's played by some chick. No, some he's guy. not. It's Justin and, Roiland. Uh, Lemon grab. Justin Timberlake. Ew. Gross. And, Justin uh, Timberlake played um, uh, Boo Boo in the Yogi Bear movie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Remember that? That was garbage. And, uh. The show's the show's great. I mean, the Rick character is just completely off the wall. He's I just, just I he's love nuts. I love those jerk characters. They're like yeah. they're, they're jerks, but they're like lovable jerks. Yeah, he's but yeah. I, I mean, this is obvious. This is not a cartoon that you know you generally sure, want your kids to watch. Yeah, even though well, we my, do, my whatever. kids yeah, watch it anyways. And all my children watch it. All of them. All of them. All hundred of them. Yep. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what what can you say about it? The ventures. The ventures. It's it's I don't know. They're they're in, it's, it's just insane. insane. It's, it's insane. Like, there it's we insane. go. Insane. Yeah. It's crazy. It's insane. It's just it's off it's off it's it's it's, it's off the it's wall. Off, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. It's crazy. Okay, Charlie Day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wow. That's... It's a rape. It's a rape. I don't know. Rape. Rating this show. What would you give it? Oh God, I don't know. Where does this show sit? Between a SpongeBob show, uh, um, um, what's that other show with with Finn? What was that? Adventure Time. Adventure Time. The show I like mentioning. And like Aqua Teen Hunger Force somewhere ago. in there, and an archer. Like it's it's As a single archer. A single archer. And an archer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I I I'd say it's like an eight in there. I'd say it's like a nine. Nine it's, out of ten. It's, it's it is um in the, oh yeah the one episode we watched. Where they were pretty much at home watching TV the whole day. Ricksty minutes. Ricksty minutes, and it's like they ad libbed the entire thing. They did ad lib the entire and thing. And it was it was it was so it was funny, freaking hilarious. Nothing makes it's like you said, it's it's awesome to watch uh, a show that's got a just a completely a character that has there's nothing redeemable about no, the character. Absolutely really. not. 
and I love that. I love <laughs> these characters that are just that are just like just like that. And and the Rixty Minutes, they're doing this whole ad lib thing. It's in theaters now, coming this summer. Two brothers in a van, and then a meteor hit, and they ran as fast as they could from giant cat monsters, and then a giant tornado came. And that's when things got knocked into 12 gear. A Mexican armada shows up with weapons made from to tomatoes. And you better bet your bottom dollar that these two brothers know how to handle business. In Alien Invasion Tomato Monster Mexican Armada Brothers, who are just regular brothers running in a van from an asteroid and all sorts of things, the movie. Hold on, there's more. Old women are coming, and they're also in the movie, and they're gonna come and cross attack these two brothers. But let's get back to the brothers, because they are they have a strong bond. You don't want to know about it here, but I'll tell you one thing. The moon, it comes crashing into Earth, and what do you do then? It's two brothers, and a, and and they're gonna. It's called two brothers. Two brothers. It's just called two brothers. And the characters are doing the voices, and they're actually laughing and stuff. And, and they leave the, the whole they thing. leave the laugh in. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's the greatest thing ever. So yeah, so uh, you gotta check it out, man. You gotta check it out, man. Check it out, man. Check it out, man. Check it out. Is that it? Gotta check it out. Yeah, like tell us if you're watching it I, or not. That's the part where you say comment and comment and subscribe. Maybe yeah. if you want. I mean, we can't force you, but do yeah. it. Yeah, just do it, please. Just do it. You know, feed, just do feed it. Feed our, feed the kids. Yeah. Feed the homeless. Feed my butthole. <laughs> <laughs>